first offensive possession of the year. Quarterback keep, and he skips out of a tackle and gets enough for a first down. Definitely a quarterback run. It's just a quarterback counter right up the middle. Good lead block there by. He did lose some key personnel as they come into this game one. The throw wide open is complete. Oh man, Western Michigan takes advantage of that. Kenneth Womack on the receiving end. It's called an RPO, run pass option, where you fake it to the running back, and it's tough as a defensive back to keep your eye on the receiver. I was about to say, nobody was covering that. Salapak keeps it on the, oh, he keeps it himself, and he's going to rumble outside, inside the 10. Great play fake by Western Michigan. New players to round out this roster for new head coach Lance Taylor. Salapak. Going to throw end zone oh, corner. Let's see if that ball is incomplete. Intercepted in the end zone. Akeem Snell is 6'3", 180 pounds, and he can go upstairs with the best of them. As you see there, this defense was in a bend but break those situa a situation. What they did was came up big in the red zone. And, and that's one thing if you can do on the road, on the first drive. You have to come out a point, come, come away from this drive with some points if you're Western Michigan. Little misdirect, yeah. Abdus Salam hits the end zone as they blast up the middle for a Western Michigan score. The run lane, he ran a split zone there. The line blocks one way, picked up another block from Bob. Now a little more pressure on St. Francis. We've seen that Western Michigan can pretty well move the ball effectively. This return coming from the about the two yard line and this is a uh -oh. good return. St. Francis. Changing the field and the carry is out to the 40-yard line. A hard takedown for St. Francis. Well, they set it up well with this return left. Just that little hesitation move right there. Got him in the open field. Sean was one of our impact players. Touchdown saving tackle right there. 210 pounds, a glorified fast linebacker playing safety. You want him in the box. Little play fake on first down. Now a quick underneath toss, and they complete it. Salapak's got a little time and a little shovel pass complete in open space. Keyshawn King. How Salapak extended the play, kept his eyes downfield, and that's just a check down. He just made a, another efficient drive for the Broncos. Broncos pounding away on the ground. End zone touchdown. Keyshawn King. And the Broncos get their second touchdown of this game. Prove right now, Marcus. Yeah, and they're doing it with that inside zone. Just look at that offensive line. They're, they're just moving people around. More pressure on Cole Doyle. Pressure. Doyle's going to air it out. And caught on the run. Mm. Inside the 30. Oh, man, did he put that ball right where he had to. I mean, watch the just the high point teardrop pass there by Doyle. See, a great quarterback is never out of it. He's never a huge first down pickup for the Red Flashes. Ah, uh, play fake first down, wide open, caught McKinney, taken down inside the five. Every blade of grass, that's a good stop. Chip shot for Mac Plummer, and he hits it. And the red flashes taking a deep breath after a very successful drive. And what they, they do that so they can run in between the hashes and spread the defense out. Little throw in the flat on the outside. Oh, and a big burst of speed here. And there goes Womack. Just formation after formation. Buckley in the end zone. Touchdown, Western Michigan. And mind you, all this is happening after Western Michigan threw an interception in the end zone on their opening drive of the season. Bonds there by the Broncos offense. But look at the double teams and the push that they're getting. Some pressure coming, and now he'll have to just improvise and oh, wow. unload deep. And it is caught wide open in space. St. Francis is going to get all of it. Touchdown to Dawson Snyder. Western Michigan falling asleep in the secondary, and the red flash strike big. It's always one play away from something special. With the pump fake, keeping the ball alive, 
Eyes downfield during the scramble drill. Snyder got behind the Broncos defense. Coverage breakdown, and that's what happened. Salapak will throw in the flat here on first down. This is going to be a good pickup for Western Michigan. Well, the Broncos are all business here with the reception to Abdu Salam. But St. Francis has been very competitive. They could have folded up to 10. And here you go on third down, making another play. Salapak gets dropped. Tried to move out of the pocket, and Kerry Galloway would have none of that. Doyle's got a little time. Now he'll throw it on the run and wow. underthrown, but caught. Another huge pickup for St. Francis. Step across the middle with a post and you sneak one across country route the other way. That's straight. Doyle on the handoff. And they run it with Holmes on the far side. Wow, does he get some space? They keep it on the ground or to play conservative. In the red zone for the red flash. Oh, wow. Good takedown in the backfield. By Bonima coming off the edge. And it just looked like. Doyle's got a lot of time and a throw in the middle. Complete oh, wow. inside the five to McKinney. Well, they never wait. And they figured something out. All day to throw the ball. A delayed crossing route across the middle at all my great coach and I think they're putting on the clinic on how you attack the hashes Holmes in the middle and he's in touchdown St. Francis now it's a one score game hang in there and fight they'll figure it out and this offensive line now looks like they've got some type of injection of Zalapak will keep and set and throw and it is caught Wow, that was a tough catch. Two defenders in the area, but Malik Duden is your receiver. Good read by Salapak, and then having the ability to go downfield. Third and short, third, anything under five is a hard count. On the ground, and trying to get outside, no. Great ankle tackle. This tackle by Middleton, being able to redirect right there and hide himself. On the, oh, little misdirect, and ball is caught underneath, touchdown. Western Michigan hooking up with the tight end, Austin Hensey. It's hard to defend everyone, and big fella. Austin Hens, eighth year of college football. Either way. Throwing off his back foot. It is caught in a tight spot for a first down. Cole Doyle trying to make some magic for the red flash of St. Francis. No, no magic there. Just a Western Michigan takedown. Western. Good five-man pressure there. A delayed blitz by Barnuma. Those guys, three and four guys to the quarterback. That's just a... This game does not feel like it's in hand, but if their offense executes, they're in good shape. How about this explosion run? Buckley up the far sideline, still on his feet. Inside the 10. Holy cow. 68-yard breakout run. Yeah, right off the left side of his line. And Galloway. Yeah, Lance Taylor very excited with what he sees, and he loves that second effort score. A touchdown. That's right. They mixed it up with the Marshawn. Marshawn. Yes, indeed. So they mix it up and go big. Nice job of that offensive line. I don't know who anybody in the country is going to line up and tackle Marshawn. Third and six. St. Francis trying to hang in there. Doyle and will have to run and no way. Broncos all over the place. You know they've been sending pressure on third down. It's going to be hard to block them for more than three seconds. Good coverage on the back end, too. Western Michigan flying around. And we know that St. Francis is going to have some good football ahead of them. They didn't know what they were coming into against Western Michigan. The Broncos and the St. Francis Red Flash will shake hands at midfield.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.